Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about inheritance in PHP. Now, inheritance is basically where a class can inherit all of the functionality, all the attributes from another class in PHP. And this is actually a really useful situation. And the best way to kind of wrap your head around inheritance is just to see an example. So I'm going to show you guys an example of what this is, how it works, and then hopefully you can understand like basically what's going on. All right. So down here in my program, I've created a class called chef, and this is basically just like modeling a chef in my program. And this is a very simple class. The chef can do three things. The chef can make chicken. So we have this make chicken function. The chef can make salad. We have this make salad function. And the chef can also make a special dish. And basically all these functions do is like when the chef makes chicken, it just prints out, Hey, the chef's making chicken. Or when the chef makes a salad, it prints out the chef makes salad. And for the special dish, it's barbecue ribs. So down here outside of the class, I created a chef and I told the chef to make some chicken. So now over here in my web browser, you see when I refresh the page, it just says the chef makes chicken. So this is a, you know, like I said, pretty basic program. We have our class. It has a bunch of functions in it. We created an object and we told the object to make chicken. But let's say that I'm looking at my program and I'm thinking to myself, Hmm, I want another chef in my program. So in addition to having this chef class over here, let's say that I wanted to create another chef alongside of it. So let's say in addition to just having like a generic chef up here, I also wanted to have an Italian chef. So like a more specialized type of chef. Well, I could just create another class so I can just come over here and say class. And why don't we call this Italian chef? And I'm, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to make an open and closed curly bracket. And down here in the Italian chef class, I could, you know, write some functions or some attributes or whatever. But let's say that in our program, we wanted the Italian chef to be able to do everything that the normal chef could do plus a bunch of other stuff, right? So just like this normal chef, the Italian chef can also make chicken, make salad and make a special dish. So the Italian chef can do everything that the normal chef can do. And let's say the Italian chef can also do some other stuff as well. Well, this is a situation where we can use something called inheritance and inheritance is basically where I could have my Italian chef inherit all of the functionality from the normal chef. So I could just come over here and say Italian chef extends chef. And basically what this means now is the Italian chef is going to be able to use all the same functions as the normal chef. I could actually come down here and in addition to just creating a normal chef, I'm also going to create an Italian chef. So I'm just going to paste this and I'm going to change this to Italian chef. All right. So in addition to this normal chef up here, I also created an Italian chef. It's a new Italian chef and I'm telling this Italian chef to make chicken. Now here's the thing up here in my Italian chef class, I didn't actually define a make chicken method. Like nowhere in here does it say make chicken, right? It's, it's just not in here. But what I did was I extended all the functionality from the chef class and the chef class over here has a make chicken function. So because the chef has a make chicken function and I'm inheriting all the functionality from the chef class, my Italian chef is going to be able to make chicken. No problem. So now when I run my program, you'll see it says the chef makes chicken and this is that normal chef. And down here, the Italian chef is also making chicken. So without having to write out the make chicken function down here, I was still able to use it because of inheritance. And that's why inheritance is so cool. But here's the thing, like this Italian chef, if it only has the functionality of the chef class, there's no purpose for it. So over here, we could actually create another function. I'm going to call this make pasta. So let's say in addition to making chicken salad and special dish, the Italian chef can also make a mean bowl of pasta. So down here we could just do basically what we did before. So I'm just going to echo out like, so now down here, the Italian chef could make pasta. But here's the thing. This normal chef isn't going to be able to make pasta. So I couldn't come over here and say normal chef make pasta. This is actually going to throw an error. And that's because the chef doesn't have a make pasta method. Only the Italian chef is capable of making pasta. 
because only the Italian chef has that function. So over here now when I refresh the page, you can see the Italian chef is making pasta. Anytime we have two classes like the chef and the Italian chef, where the Italian chef can do everything the chef can do plus some other stuff, we want to use inheritance and this can be extremely powerful. I want to show you guys one more thing that we can do with this though and it's called overriding a function. So down here I'm going to have both of these guys print out make special dish. So both chefs are going to go ahead and make a special dish and you'll see that both of them are going to make barbecue ribs. So the special dish is barbecue ribs and then the Italian chef also makes barbecue ribs. But let's say that the Italian chef doesn't want to make barbecue ribs. So the normal chef's special dish is barbecue ribs. That's awesome. But let's say that we want the Italian chef to have a different special dish. Well, I can actually do something called overriding a function. Basically down here, I could override the make special dish function that I inherited from the chef class. And it's actually really easy. All I have to do is just come down here and I could just say function make special dish. So you'll notice I'm using the same name as the function that was up here in the chef class. And then over here, I can basically just put my own thing. So I could just say like echo the chef makes chicken parm. Maybe that's the chef's special dish. So now when I come down here and I say chef makes special dish and Italian chef makes special dish, they're both going to be making different special dishes. So now the Italian chef makes chicken parm and the normal chef makes barbecue ribs. And that's what we would call overriding a function. Basically we're overriding the make special dish function that we got from the chef when we used inheritance and that can come in handy all the time. So that's sort of the basics of inheritance and really the basics of using this extends keyword. As your PHP programs get more complex and as you start using more and more complex classes, um, using something like inheritance can become very useful. So hopefully all that makes sense and hopefully now you guys have a solid understanding of what inheritance is. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.